Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you something new. I'm going to teach you that when a player touches a part, he will get teleported. How to teleport a player when a player touches a part? So today you will be seeing that there is no watermark on my video because I am using uh, what do you say, wit clipper for this video. Earlier I used to use film maker, but the wit clipper will be used now for my videos. I don't know will I use it for all videos or no, but yeah, I will use it for at least this video I'm using. It. So now this is the toolbox as you can see over here. You don't need the toolbox actually and you need the other two boxes inside the explorer and the properties. Now if you don't know how to open them and close them and all that, you go to view and click on explorer explorer and properties. That explorer will open the explorer inside and properties will open the properties window. And suppose you close if you want to open the toolbox for any reason, if it is closed, you can go over here and click on the toolbox to open the toolbox. Okay. Now first you insert a part going into the part top part button on the top over there and insert a part. So here is your part. Now that's the way to insert a part, but I already have a model where it's already mostly made to a teleporting model I have made. So instead of doing all the things from from the start, I'll just insert that model into my workspace and then I'll show you what to do. So here is the model and here is, it's, in, it's inserted in the workspace. Now in both in both the parts I have a teleport strip. So I'll remove the teleport strip from one part. Um, this yes. So the script is now deleted. Now I want the character to teleport from the red part to the yellow part so this is not this you can script it this way also but i'm going to show you an easier way so let me just copy some part of this this is scripted by me only but i'll just show it in a different way for this video so i'll just cut this and then you need to make a touch event touched event touched event okay so for that you event that will be the event that will uh, trigger the function when you touch when the part is touched so for making this you will need to get the path of the part that is the script dot parent and then you do dot touched touched means when the part is touched then you do colon after you write the touched you do colon connect and then into brackets function and there should be two brackets facing each other after function like this you can see okay and you press enter and enter should come on its own now i paste the oldest old script and over there in that brackets over there write hit h i t and in place of the part you can see change i'm changing that to hit because we need to keep it as hit over there and then the other three lines you can see in between that i will delete it because there's no use of it for now so now as you can see that hit dot parent colon move to you can see that thing so i'll explain that to you also so as you can see move to means uh, hit dot parent hit dot parent is a player who has touched the part now move to means it's going to move the player's position uh, so you do script dot parent dot humanoid you see that you see that nil over there that needs to be the there because is not nil means if if it's not if it's not that it's not there so i'll um, it's difficult like that to understand but now you see script dot parent dot humanoid so you want to get the humanoid of the uh what do you say the player um there uh, then we need to move it to the part so you see the yellow part over there you want to move it to the yellow part as you can see so script dot parent dot parent actually script dot parent dot parent dot telly one so in that brackets over there where you can see move to we have to write the tell that the next other parts position dot position you need to write so we'll move it to that position of the thing now if you have not understood if you have not able to understand through this video you can still watch another video on youtube there are many many tutorials and i might make a better one also too again so we'll just separate these parts make them far away from each other and uh, let's hit the play button you can see the play button over there you need to click that and it'll load up now it's loading 
let's wait for it to load and it's kind of slow um, yeah there we go so it has loaded up and now if we go and touch the red color part we should get teleported to the yellow color part as you can see when we touch the red part we get teleported to the yellow color part and there's kind of a lag here and there let's ignore the lag because we can't do anything with the lag and then it networks up network is perfect now i'll just zoom out and show you how it is going so i touch the red part get teleported to the yellow part again i touch the red part I get teleported to the yellow part so this is the way you can teleport players when they touch a part so you can make like this fancy teleporters and then teleport players to another part and remember both the parts need to be grouped you go uh, using control select both the parts and then do uh, control G that will group it and control U will ungroup it and as you can if I touch the yellow part I don't get teleported because there's no script in uh, teleporting script into it so this was the main tutorial and if you like the video hit that like button if you want more content like this to learn more hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon I'll see you in another shipping video till then but you can even look at the script in the uh, by reversing the video a bit bye